Hey guys, what's going on? Drewzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video. Two videos today. You guys are spoiled, and you're welcome. Um, we've got developer update information. Scuzzle Bud is going to be the new card. It's going to be coming out in the weekend event. If you want more information about this card, there's a video already out on that today. So we're going to skip through that and not even talk about it. It's not even worth our time. What is worth our time is the upcoming balance changes that will be taking effect on June 8th, which is when the season reset happens. So it will come out... Um, Similarly to how they've been rolling out in the past, not how they were last time, which there was a week delay. So, when the season resets here in a couple of weeks, this is when this will come out. So, Call Girl, her health is being decreased by 40% from 200 to 120, and her attack is being increased by 56%. So, Call Girl is basically getting the Ink and Craig treatment, and her health is going down very significantly, 40%. Uh, Ink and Craig's was, I think, a little bit more. It was over 50%. And her attack is being uh, increased significantly to top that. So, Cargoyle's real strength in reality was her attack damage, her attack speed. So the fact you're giving her more attack damage is dangerous. I get the thought process here, and that she's going to be easier to kill. But reality, her true value is in what she can summon to the, for the most part. So that has not been altered anymore. But I don't think it really needed to, to be honest. But I mean, she's easier to kill. I guess that makes sense. Um, her range will be decreased as well, so I believe she'll be in New Kid Zap range at 3.8 from 4.1. So she's out. She was out of Zap Kid range before. I believe she's now in it. Um, the Coon, his attack boost will be decreased by 35, 38%. Why? Coon is not good. Coon is not in a good place right now. I guess he's detrimental in Silver League, um, but in Legendary Arena, Coon is not really viable. In reality, I mean, you need pretty much a full squad of superhero units, and one card, Satan, eliminates that pretty quickly. I mean, I guess I get it. His attack will be increased by 94%. Holy crap, why are you... What are they doing to Coon? I don't understand. I really don't. Um, this card just baffles me. This balance change baffles me. I don't think it's... I don't think he's an issue. Uh, if you're going to increase his health, I mean, that's it. But he's a tank, and then that makes him worthless. So that's the only thing for a tank unit that makes any sense or that is detrimental is the amount of health it has. And I think Kuhn's health is fine for an epic 5 cost. Um, I don't know with this one. I really don't. Uh, if, if any of you want to say that you think this is a good change, let me know down below. I really don't. I don't understand this Kuhn change. I really don't. Uh, Cock Magic. The attack buff delay will be given after 0.5 seconds have passed rather than 0.3 to make sure all the Chicky units have a chance to be properly buffed. Another questionable one. Cool. Thanks, Red Legs. All right. Uh, we got Archangel Bradley here. His movement speed will be decreased by 13%, which is okay. His health increased by 100. That's the important one. His attack will be increased by 83. And we've also given him some new bird friends. So Archangel Bradley, going to be a little bit better. Um, you got to be careful. You got to tread lightly with these Bradley buffs because Bradleys have been known to be insane. Space Toilet Frontier. Um, so, you know, I, I'm okay though. Archangel Bradley's pretty worthless right now, to be honest. Um, so I'm okay with this change. I don't think this is anything significant or drastic, so I think this should be fine. He is a flying unit. Um, people have found pretty easy ways to deal with him. And I don't think his health will scale up to the point to where it will outlive something like even Lightning Bolt. So if he becomes a nuisance-style card, then he just becomes another thing that gets bolted. I guess that's just one way to look at it. Space Toilet Bradley, his health will be decreased by 26%. Thank you, God. His attack speed will be... His attack... His attack speed, holy crap. His attack will be increased by 135%. That's a number. So the toilet... Gets a, gets a significant health decrease, his attack gets a significant increase, and his speed buff will be removed completely. So, that means that when he's deployed, or the units that he, the assassin units that he is uh, under his control, right, um, don't get a speed buff anymore. So it looks like they don't get a speed or potential, so they probably still get the attack speed, not speed buff, and they still get the stun. So you move one of the three things that he uh, gives out with his, basically, his ability. Um, 
I think this will be nicer to deal with the toilet. It, it makes a lot more things able to kill him faster. So I'm okay with this. We'll see how it looks uh, in, in reality because, I mean, this card is a freaking problem right now. So, uh, all right, we'll see how this looks. I, I, I think this is a, a positive change. Obviously, any nerf to Space Toilet is, is a positive change. So, so there you go. Uh, Scissor Stewart, his movement speed will be decreased by 18%. This one's puzzling too. These are some puzzling balance changes. I mean, there's like one really good one, and then there's like, what is all the rest of these? Um, okay, his, his movement speed was not the issue. So like his movement speed, I guess, is to make it to where he's, it's going to take him longer to get to the next unit so he can't proc his ability or proc his basic attack, I guess is what they're going for. If he moves slower, he's easily to, it's easier to do damage to him. Plus, I mean, he gets that, you know, movement speed buff where he's like, you know, uh, the Energizer Bunny running forward. So, I guess I get it. I don't know. I don't know. This one's mildly puzzling. Maybe this is a good thing, a positive. I don't know. Uh, I think if Scissor Stewart is really isn't as problematic as people are saying, and I think he's he's annoying and he's because he's he's got a lot of value, um, it would be to increase back the amount of procs it would take to get to his full... You know, attack speed and movement speed, which which was 10. It was moved down to 7, I believe. Maybe move it up to 9 or something. Like, move it up a little bit more to make it harder for him to get that... To go to ultimate Super Saiyan Sizzler Stewart mode. Um, but, you know, what do I know, I guess? Ice Sniper Wendy getting more buffs. Okay. This is desperation. This is the second time she's received buffs in the last year, at least. Her attack will be increased by 75 her power range will be increased by 13, and her power range does not scale with levels, so the previous max has been lowered to 4.5. So it will stun for 4.5, or the range will be 4.5 instead of 4.8. There's no change to the duration of the freeze from her power, and her attack goes up 75%. Puzzling, again. Continuing with the puzzling uh, balance changes this this go around. Still no adjustment to Pope Timmy. That seems to continue to be the case. Uh, no additional changes to Mystical other than Archangel Bradley. I'm okay with Space Toilet. He is very problematic for this meta right now. Um, other than that, guys, this is not a huge change. I mean, this this is helping Silver. This open Silver League with Call Girl and Coon changes uh, with Space Toilet. That's really about it for me. I don't see this really significantly changing ladder. I think the meta is pretty much going to stay where it's been at. But, you know, Toilet goes to die a little bit faster. So there's that. I mean, that's 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 nice. Uh, there will be a bug fix for Unholy Combustion to take care of the targeting issue. Um, this will actually be released earlier than the balance changes. It will come out on the 25th. So it will come out tomorrow during the... Um, after the maintenance. So there you go. So the bug fix on Holy Combustion will be fixed with that one. And then if you guys care, which I kind of do a little bit, uh, War Hero Ned and Castle Defender will be added to general circulation um, as part of the balance changes as well. So this won't take effect until the balance changes, right? Will be uh, Castle Defender will be unlocked once you reach second arena, and then will be available after the seventh. It will be found in all packs and lockers once you reach those goals. So there you go. Warhill Net and Castle Defender will be a little bit easier for you guys to level them up with them coming out. Uh, that will be when the balance changes take effect on the 8th. So that will answer that question. There you go. And there's the showing of the uh, battle pass for Scuzzlebutt. It's down there below. So what do you guys think of the balance changes? Um, questioning. Uh, th these are questionable changes to me. That, that's that's the way. That's the word I'm going to use. Um Again, I don't think this drastically changes legendary where I'm at. It may change where you're at in lower arenas, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the double video today. Maybe there'll be more. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, you know who it is.